How are you doing guys? Koji here at TrainCompete.com. In this video, I want to show you why RPR is important and what's, what's the advantage of it. RPR is a reflexive performance reset we use with athletes, mainly sports, running, swimming, um, cycling based sports. Uh, but it's very helpful in the gym as well if you're lifting weights. This is a great, war, great way to warm up or activate your muscles. I'm going to show you the effectiveness. So we're going to do um, a test, we're going to do the RPR and then we're going to retest the muscles and the performance if they activate it. Because you can see at the gyms, you might have done it yourself, a lot of activation drill, we call it, we, as they call them activation. Um, it could be like a, a sidewalk using bands, um, hip extensions, you can do leg raises, all this kind of stuff, but I guess you never test it if it's working or not. So I'm going to show you how to do the, how to test yourself first and then we're going to do those exercises which you typically see in the gym. We're going to retest, see if they're effective or not and then we're going to do RPR and then we're going to test as well. So it's always important to test and retest yourself if your workout is actually working or not. Okay, so hip flexor test and then we're going to do check the glutes. That's the basic of this video today but obviously you can check all the other muscle groups but we're gonna focus on that first because that's the most important if you are an athlete or if you do basically any kind of lifting on your feet your hip is always gonna be very important so what we're gonna do is just lift this leg up we're gonna check the hip flexor which is here which is important to raise the leg so running motion jumping um, hip hinging squat deadlift they're all gonna be activated so Sarah's gonna push this way. I'm gonna test how hard she can push, uh, pull her leg up, upwards over this way here. So start pulling here, and I'm gonna push this way. So you can see it's pretty weak. I would say around two. You can start, uh, do it again. So if someone is new or um, to this test, this could be just, you know, wasn't ready. So now she knows what's gonna happen. So she's gonna push full force. And I'm gonna push this way. It's still pretty easy. I can just easily push it down. So I would say around two. Was it? <laughs> Did you try it with as much as you could? Like try again. Just push as hard as you can. One, two, three. Nice. Yeah. Maybe around three now. But that's all. So we're gonna flip it around. And then you can lift this leg up for me. You can bend the leg a little bit. So this motion is important for running. So when you run, your glutes, your hamstring, and the opposite QL, the lower back, should be firing for the running motion. So this is really important that these muscles fire in the same rate and say in a good sequence, glutes, hamstring, and QL. So I'm gonna hold this up. You can see the height of the leg, and I'm gonna make sure you hold this high as hard as you can. Pretty easy, try again. Up. Yeah, I would say around two and three again. So we're gonna do a couple drills where you can um, see in the gym. So if you can flip it around again, just do some glute bridges uh, on your back. So just lay down, legs up, and yeah, two legs. And then just do a couple glute bridges. Probably you've done this before in the warm up, or uh, you see this in videos or something. Especially girls that like to do this. So just do as many as you think your glutes are activated. If you can feel your glute or, or you think you are ready, we're gonna recheck if the glutes is firing or not. You feel like, okay? Okay, turn it back. Legs up. One, two, three. Yeah, I think it's even weaker. Try again. Yeah, I would say it's a one. So as you can see, like, it's not just not activated her glute, but actually make her weaker, probably. So um, we're gonna try something else. So you can, you can use a band. You've probably seen this in other videos. So if you stand up, let's do some band walks. So if you can pull it on your leg. Yeah. And then just do from this line to this line so you can see in the camera. And a couple sidewalk. Um, different angles, yeah. You can do some side work. Good. 
just wherever you feel like you, you think you are activated or you think like you feel your glutes is burning. How's it? Yeah? Not burning, but... Yeah, you can feel it now. Okay, you can do some... Uh, okay, you can drop it. Let's test again. On your back. Because obviously it's a glute activation. I'm sure you feel your glutes. Obviously using your glutes is if you are holding in a, in a squat stance or you're walking on the side. You're always going to feel the burn a little bit. It doesn't mean it's activated. Hold up. One, two, three. Same weakness. Again. One, two, three. It's even easier. So, you know, just <laughs> not activated, but became a little weaker. So we're gonna do my drills, which is basically trigger point therapy. So we're gonna use a couple trigger points on the body to wake up these muscles, what we're gonna use, and then we're gonna reset. So I'm gonna speed up the video. It's gonna take a couple of times because it's massage therapy. So you have to massage certain points, and then we're gonna retest again. So flip it around. Let's just start breathing and then massage it. So now that we've done the activation drills, let's see if it got any better. So if you lift the leg up, you're gonna do the same. As you can see, it's, it's already a little higher. So you can see the difference at the end of the beginning of the video and now her legs is already higher and it's much harder to push it up. You can pick it up, hold. This is about six or seven, still not a 10. So I would still go back. Maybe you can check the other leg, bring the other leg up. Yeah, that's, this is way harder. This is way harder to push it down as well. So it's already see a big improvement, but I would flip it her back and then work on these points a little bit more. So if you turn back, just do a little extra, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably there. And then keep breathing down here. So we already had good results just with one minute on this drill. It's really important, like, as you could see at the, the first one, we tested it and then we did the general, the, the usual warm up, what they usually do, the hip thrust, the sidewalks with the band, and then it's make her weaker. It was easier to push down. It couldn't even lift the leg as high. Now we did a, like a little bit of massage um, and then the leg was already came up higher so that means the activation was already harder, it was harder to push her down and, um, and that's what you're looking for. You always test, retest if the things, what you do is working, right? You don't want to be weaker in the gym, you want to be stronger or in your sport as well. So that's why the, the reset is really important. Um, someone needs to do this every day and before every workout it's it's always good to do if if you have this trigger point it's very painful then you have to spend more time on it so she really struggle with this spot what she's she's working on now uh, that's why it's let's keep breathing here that's why it's not 100 percent yet because those spots are still too tight um is it any better okay we're gonna flip it around so some spots is gonna feel harder than the others so you have to spend more time on them lift it up yeah squeeze definitely harder to push it down okay again up okay I see it's a big improvement I have to push with two hands now so it's around eight it's still not a ten I was still force her to do a little more, like maybe an extra one or two minutes until the pain goes on those spots, and then would be a 10. So we're gonna just check the, the hip flexor now. So if you, if you turn, split it around, turn it around, and then we're gonna do the first test we did. So just lay down, leg up here, hold as hard as you can. Yeah, solid. So we're just breathing in the massage therapy like this. I cannot even push it down. So bring it up again. Hold. I have to use my whole body weight that it doesn't go down. And so that's how you can see how much 
the advantages of, of RPR. You can obviously there's trigger points for all the different muscle groups. So you can work on your shoulders, your back, your calves, like all the different uh, areas in the body where you need work. But just make sure you always test and retest what you do in the gym. This is very important. So this is RPR. If you're interested, uh, I can teach you how to do for yourself. And as you can see, I don't have to touch my athletes anymore. So they created a program um, on RPR where you can do it on your own. So that um, it doesn't require a therapist to do the massage points on you. I can show you where those points are and then you can do it and you can test it yourself if it's working or not. So this is RPR. If you're interested, you can uh, find all the details on my website or you can just email me. Uh, or message me under this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna go and train now and I catch you in the next one. Train complete. Train complete.